First, I would like to acknowledge and respect the people of the Ute, Paiute, Goshu, and Navajo. My name is Takaya. It means water. My ancestral name is Chagajimuch. It was given to me by my Kukba, my grandfather. Chagajimuch was a speaker, provider for our peoples, ensuring justice for the Slyman nation, my nation. And today, I am doing my best to honor my name. Today, I stand beside you on the edge of a revolution to change our world for the better. And I bet a few of you just rolled your eyes. But it isn't wrong to believe that we can change the world. It's only wrong to believe that we can change the world alone. Society is a back and forth duet between vision and impossibility. Those ambitiously constructed blueprints and impossible formulas for radical change in a landscape of adversity, ideas that demand and deserve to be made real, that idea fed by justice, no matter how small, is what changing the world looks like. A passion for art, music, expression that ingrains its determination into your thought and movement, commanding itself to be anthems of movement, proclamations of freedom, the heartbeat of revolution, that song is what changing the world sounds like. Whatever unfathomable strength that it takes to look unwaveringly into the face of genocide, inequality, racism, systemic silencing, injustice, and instead of a feeling of insurmountable defeat and conformity, we look into the eyes of injustice and see a reflection of resilience. And that is what changing the world looks like. To do the round dance of reclamation and assertion and cognizance of us as a living testimony to the failure of our system designed to silence and obliterate the other, the indigenous. Yet here we remain with our revolution in one hand and our eagle feathers in the other. That is what changing the world looks like. Change is the fuel that ignites the momentum of our nations to match the speed of our times and our times call to be fueled by new innovation and change, not fossil fuels and an old unjust paradigm. And this may seem like a stretch, but we need crazy ideas to match our crazy times. It's not naive, or ludicrous, or unreasonable, or futile. It's not even new, this idea. Because we stand on the shoulders of invisible, monumental giants, perseverant movers and shakers that came before us and propelled our narrative from victim to resilience, that engendered the revolutions of today, and today is not a rehearsal for tomorrow. As youth, we're not immobilized on standby to lead the future. We are the identifiable face of rapid change during our times. Tomorrow's predictions are today's decisions, and what is happening is happening fast. And so now we stand at the precipice of cultural deterioration, environmental catastrophe, and these are the defining pivotal challenges that will typify our generational capabilities, combating these issues as the people and the planet of today. And let me say, I'm excited about the future. So bring your crazy plans, unreasonable, ambitious ideas, naive notions of changing the world, 
Bring your ancestors with you. Bring the old ways. Bring the new ways. Bring your justice. Bring your music. And together, let's teach the history books of tomorrow a lesson in doing what is fundamentally right. In my culture, it is a fact, it is an understanding of our way of life that everything is connected. The, the bloodlines of the land, the watersheds, the rivers are the bloodlines of our peoples. We are connected to our earth. And as humans, we have the responsibility, the obligation to be the caretakers and the stewards, to be the voice for those who have none, for those whose voice goes unheard. And now, we are the momentum. We are the unstoppable force. We are the change. One empowered person is the only unit of change, and put together, we make change. You have a voice be heard. We have a responsibility to the future that we leave behind. So together, I'm so honored to ask us all to design a better world. Thank you.